Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Hey, what's up, guys? Dane here once again, and we're back with some more Plants vs. Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies in the house. What's up? Pick this one. And this one. Over here. Yes, let's, let's get the tall walnut. Um, hmm. What else do I want? Yes, the Frizo Matic pea shooter guy thing go light. What? All right, we are ready. Let's plant. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. What? Why am I singing in falsetto? I have no idea. Do you know what falsetto is? It's the opposite of the deep voice. Tenor? Is that it? Coming. Good lord, my, my brain is farting right now. It's literally farting. There we go, using the word literally. I am literally going crazy right now. Sorry, I've got the hiccups right now. It's kind of hard to play the game, try and talk, and have hiccups at the same time. And not, like, totally hiccup in your guys' ears. Uh, screaming spadow is one thing, but... You know, hiccuping in your ear, that's another thing. Spadow! You can thank me for that. So, what should I do for this next spadow? We've done death metal. We've done, like, the hair metal falsetto. Back to the falsetto. Falsetto, uh, metal scream. We've done the midget apple spadow. How about... An annoying orange spadow. Hey! Hey, zombie! Spadow! Eh, that was alright. It didn't feel that great. But, you know, it wasn't terrible. I think what I'm trying to say is I could have done better. And I apologize. <sighs> like I said, it usually takes me a few times to get the spadows down before uh, I get in the groove. Getting that groove thing going on. What am I talking about? Rice Krispies. That's what I'm talking about. Snap, crackle, pop. Stop eating my plants! Why? That's... Don't you know that's... Prob well, it's probably good for your digestive system. Although, zombies... How can zombies have a digestive system if they're dead? What? They're... Like, if blood can't circulate... Okay, I'm not even going to try and analyze it. I'm try I'm sure many people have tried to analyze it. Zombies just don't make sense. So, yeah. Same thing with vampires and werewolves and uh, Sasquatches and uh, UFOs. Except that UFOs are real. Have you guys ever seen a UFO? And seriously, I'm being dead serious here. Have you guys ever seen an object in the sky that you could not identify? You know, doesn't mean that it was necessarily aliens, but have you ever seen something in the sky, you know, moving, whatever, that you just, you, you were like, holy crap, that does not look like an airplane, a blimp, or Ben Affleck. Um, that's got to be something that, that's, that's definitely a UFO. Um... There was, there was actually one time when I was younger, uh, when uh, a bunch of us were camping, uh, a bunch of family members. Um, we were, it was in the middle of the night, probably, well, not middle of the night, but probably somewhere around like 10 o'clock at night. And it's pitch black. Um, we were all camping out, and uh, we were all hanging out outside, you know, by the fire and whatnot. And a few of us, me and I think it was my brother, Luke, and one of my cousins, Betsy, uh, we were kind of like off to the side, away from the fire a little bit, and we were stargazing, and uh, looked up, and there was like six, what looked like stars, um, like at least six of them, like moving in and around each other very quickly. Um, it was really weird, because, like I said, they looked exactly like the rest of the stars. And we were out in the middle of the country, you could see all of the stars really well. 
and um, they were like flying around each other and, and, and whatnot and you know people are like oh it was probably satellites and, um, I just I call bull on that one because with how far away the, those objects had to be because they looked like they were as far away as, as the stars were which they probably weren't but either way they were like really far away but for them to be able to move as quickly as they as they were like moving in and out and moving around each other and stuff they would have to be moving at such an amazing uh, amount of speed to be able to do that because they're that far away um, and, yeah, like, you understand what I'm saying, right? So, I, I'm not saying it was uh, UFOs or aliens or whatever. I mean, it was UFO to me because it was unidentified. A UFO doesn't mean alien, it just means you don't know what the heck it is. So, in that instance, we didn't know what the heck that was. But it was pretty interesting, though. It was, it, we watched them for, like, a half hour. They just, like, flew around each other. It was crazy. Um, and to this day, I still have no idea what, what the heck they were, but, uh, have you ever, have you guys ever seen a UFO, or UFOs, plural? Let me know in the comment area below, ask for thumbs if you would like, but, uh, either way, just let me know. I'd love to, I'd love to know if you guys have seen anything weird out there. Do you believe in aliens? I'd like to believe in aliens. I mean, our, our universe is crazy huge. Uh, bigger than any of us could ever conceive. Uh, bigger, you know, that's just, it's, it's just insane. So, I don't know. I have a tendency to believe that there has to be something out there. Whether or not they're, they're, they look like how we often depict them in movies, I think there has to be some kind of alien life forms out there. There has to be a, another situation out there like Earth where a planet was created and there is a sun that is like the perfect distance away for life to be able to be created on Earth. Um, wow. I am talking way too much and getting too deep into this. Let's, let's get back to the funny stuff. Jeez. Burps and, and farts. That's what we need to be talking about. Not life on distant planets what am i doing i apologize god what was i doing um man i got way too serious there for a second i apologize guys <sighs> burps and farts that that's what we need we need more burps and farts uh, there are you happy now did, did you have a good laugh that's yeah that's what we are Gracious, I think. Oh, shoot, I just totally missed that coin. I'm not gonna get the perfect coin guy award. Hmm? Is there a perfect coin guy award? Seems like there should be. If there's not. Wow. I talked for UFOs almost this entire episode. I apologize, guys. I hope you don't stop watching because of that. Yeah, eat that Zamboni's zombie boy. Huh? My brains. Bring all the zombies to the yard. My brains. That's right. My brains bring all the zombies to the yard. Or in the pool, for that matter. Either one, they do not discriminate in neither do I. Wait, what happened to the sound? What is going on? Why is there no sound anymore? Do I have to make the sound effects now for the rest of the game? Oh my gosh. That's actually really hard to do. Uh, well, I, I don't know why there's no sound anymore, but I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work to get sound back next time. This has been a weird episode. Thank you for listening and watching and staying with it. Until next time. Thanks, guys.